Do you think if you look at history of progress, don't you think to achieve the quote impossible, you have to believe that oh, it's possible? I, abs absolutely, yeah. Look, look his, 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 his two great runs, great, unbelievable. 1903, first human uh, power, human, uh, you know, heavier than air flight. Yeah. 1969, we land on the moon. That's 66 yeah. years. I'm 66 years old. Yeah. In my lifetime, that span of my lifetime, yeah. of barely, get, you know, flying, I don't know what it was, 50 feet yeah. or the length of the first flight or something, to landing on the moon. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fantastic. But that requires, by the way, one of the Wright brothers, both of them, but one of them didn't believe it's even possible like a year before. Right, so uh, like not just possible soon, but like yeah. ever. So, 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 you know, but how important is it to believe and be optimistic? Is what I guess. Oh yeah, it, it is important. It's when it goes crazy. When, 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 I, you know, you said it. What, what, what was the word you used for my bad harshness? Harshness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just get so frustrated. Yes. When, when people make these leaps. And tell me that I'm that I don't understand. I, right. I, I, you know, yeah. There's just from iRobot, which I was co-founder of. Yeah. I don't know the exact numbers now because I haven't. It's ten years since I stepped off the board, but I believe it's well over thirty million robots cleaning houses yeah. from that one company. And now there's lots of other companies. Yes. Um, was that a crazy idea that we had to believe? Uh, in 2002 when we released it yeah that was we we had we had to you know believe that it could be okay, done okay, let me ask you about this so irobot one of the greatest robotics companies ever in terms of uh, creating a robot that actually works in the real world probably the greatest robotics company ever you were the co-founder of it um if if the rodney brooks of today talked to the rodney of back then what would you tell him? Because I have a sense that, would you pat him on the back and say, what you're doing is going to fail, but go at it anyway? That's what I'm referring to is with the harshness. You've accomplished an incredible thing there, one of the several things we'll talk about. What, what, like that's what I'm trying to get at, that line. No, it's, it's when, when it, uh, the, my harshness is reserved for people who are not doing it who claim it's just, well, this shows that it's just gonna happen. But here, here's the thing. This shows. But you have that harshness for Elon too. And no. Or no, it's a different harshness. No, it's, it's a, a different um, argument with Elon. You know, I, I, I think SpaceX is an amazing company. On the other hand, you know, I, in one of my blog posts, I said, what's easy and what's hard? I said, yes. SpaceX, uh, vertical landing rockets, it had been done before. Um, grid fins had been done since the 60s. Every Soyuz has them. Mm -hmm. um, um, reusable space, um, DCX reused those rockets that landed vertically. Um, th there's a whole insurance industry in place for rocket launches. There were all sorts of infrastructure. That was doable. It took a great entrepreneur, a great personal expense. He almost drove himself, you know, bankrupt doing it. Mm -hmm. um, a great belief to do it. Whereas Hyperloop, uh, there's a whole bunch more stuff that's never been thought about and never been demonstrated. So my estimation is Hyperloop is a long, 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 lot yes. further off. But and uh, and if uh, I've got a criticism of 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 Elon. It's that he doesn't make distinctions between when the technology's coming along and ready, and then he'll go off and, and See, I, mouth uh, off about other things, which then people the, go and compete about and try and do, and so. Yeah, this is where I, uh, I, I understand what you're saying. I tend to draw a different distinction. I, I have uh, a similar kind of harshness towards people who are not telling the truth, who are basically fabricating stuff to make money or to well he believes what he says i just think he's I, wrong to me that's sometimes. a very important difference yeah i'm not i'm not <laughs> <laughs> because i think uh in order to fly in order to get to the moon you have to believe um even when 
uh, most people will tell you you're wrong and most likely you're wrong, but sometimes you're right. I mean, that, that's the same thing I have with Tesla Autopilot. I, I think that's an interesting one. I was, especially when I was, you know, um, at MIT and just the entire human factors in the robotics community were very negative towards Elon. It was very interesting for me to observe colleagues at MIT. I wasn't sure what to make of that. That was very upsetting to me because I understood where that where that's coming from. And I, I agreed with them and I kind of almost felt the same thing in the beginning until I kind of opened my eyes and, and realized there's a lot of interesting ideas here. There might be overhype, you know, if, if you focus yourself on the idea that um, you shouldn't call a system full self-driving when it's obviously not autonomous, fully autonomous, you're going to miss the magic oh, of yeah, progress. Yeah, you are going to miss the magic, but at the same time, there are people who buy it, literally pay money for it, yeah. and take those words as given. So it's... And that's... Uh, but I haven't... So that I take words as given as one thing. I haven't actually seen people that use autopilot that believe that the behavior is really important, like the actual action. So like this is I, to push back uh, on the very thing that you're frustrated about, which is like journalists and general people uh, buying all the hype and going out in the same way. I think there's a lot of hype about the, the negatives of this too, that people are buying without using people use the way this is what this was this opened my eyes actually the way people use a product is very different than the way they talk about it this is true with robotics with everything everybody has dreams of how a particular product might be used or so on there's and then when it meets reality there's a lot of fear of robotics for example that robots are somehow dangerous and all those kinds of things but when you actually have robots in your life whether it's in the factory or in the home making your life better that's going to be that's way different. Your perceptions of it are going to be way different. And so my just tension was, was like, here's an innovator, um, uh, like, uh, 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 what is it? So, sorry, Super Cruise from Cadillac was super interesting too. That's a really interesting system. There's an, we should like be excited by those innovations. Okay, so let, can I yeah. tell you something that's really annoyed me recently? Mm -hmm. It's really annoyed me that the press and friends of mine on Facebook are going, these billionaires and their space games, you know, why are they doing that? Yeah, that's that been really, very frustrating. really pisses me off, yeah. I, I, I must say. I, I, I applaud that. Yeah. I applaud it. Yeah. It's the taking, and not necessarily the people who are doing the things, yeah. but, the, you know, the, I, that I keep having to push back against yes. on realistic expectations of when these yeah. things can become real. Yeah. I... This was interesting, on the, because there's been a particular focus for me is autonomous driving. Elon's prediction of when certain milestones would be hit. Um, <laughs> there's several things to be said there that I, I always, I thought about, because whenever you said them, it was obvious that's not going to me as a person that kind of not inside the system, it was obvious it's unlikely to hit those. Uh, there's two comments I want to make. One he legitimately believes it. And two, much more importantly, I think that having ambitious deadlines drives people to do the best work of their life, even when the odds of those deadlines are very um, low. To, to a point, and I'm not, to a so point. I'm not talking about Elon yes. here, I'm just saying. So there's yeah, a line there, right? You have to have a line because you, you overextend and it's, it's demoralizing. Yeah. <laughs> But I will say that there's an additional thing here, that those words also um, drive the stock market. Yeah. And, you know, we have, because of the way that rich people in the past have manipulated the rubes through investment, we have, um, um, we have develop laws about what you know what you're allowed to say and yeah, over promise I, and the, you know there's an area here which is i i uh i tend to be uh maybe i'm naive but i i tend to believe uh that um like engineers innovators people like that they're not they're my they don't think like that like manipulating the price the stock price but it's possible that i'm uh i'm certain it's possible that i'm wrong 
I, it's a it's a very cynical view of the world because I don't I think most people that run companies and build like especially original founders they um, yeah I'm not saying that's the intent I'm saying it's a uh, eventually it's kind of you uh, yeah you 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 fall into that kind of a behavior pattern I don't know I I tend to <laughs> I wasn't saying I wasn't saying it's falling into that intent it's just a you also have to protect yeah, yeah, investors yeah. in this in this market yeah. 